What's back a lacking guys, I'm Adak Quack here and welcome back to another investment video on the channel. So it's a little bit different now. A lot of you are speaking and messaging me and saying, I've got all these coins, I've got some investments, what do I do with the rest of them? And there's so many options. Build a better team for yourselves. Go out and invest in different players, get more investments, or just invest in something in preparation. And that is exactly what we've done. We've spent probably about 80 to 100,000 coins on this, but let's go through the process of it, why we've done it, and why it's a good idea. So we have completed almost the whole of the Cilia A League, ready for an SBC. We've not completed the big teams because they're a little bit more expensive, but we have picked ourselves up every player from most of the teams that we are going to need. So we'll start off just going through the first team in a little bit of depth. I keep a standard 4-4-2 formation. I fill it with a player in every position. Then I pick up a spare centre back in case they choose to go with a free at the back formation, a spare midfielder in case they don't use wingers, and then I've got everybody I need. This striker is just someone I had in my club. The players at the moment, I was a little bit impatient with this because I don't have much time to do this. I spent a little bit more than I needed to, but just to go through them, 450 on the goalkeeper. That striker was completely irrelevant. Uh, let's go back to let's go back to the goalkeeper. That's where we needed to start. Okay, yeah, there we go. 450 on the goalkeeper, 650 on a silver right back, 450, 400. 600 for a rare silver left back, 450, 650 for a rare gold, 500, 650 for a rare gold, 300 for a rare silver striker, and then 650 again for a rare gold. They're basically all discard. We literally cannot lose any money on these. And when the SBC rolls round, we have a choice. Complete the league. We're guaranteed to get our money back from all of the packs because it's a bigger league. The pack quality is going to be a lot better than normal. And if we choose to sell the investments, we could expect to get at least, I'd say, about three times our money back on a whole. The next team in it is going to be, we'll try and do it in alphabetical list, Benevento. I'm not. I'm probably butchering some of these names again. But you can see some of them, you just need a load of silver players. So we've got two on the bench here, 650 centre mid, and a really expensive centre back here, 1,500 coins. Now, I did spend a while monitoring this guy's price before I pounced, and this was a few hours back, and he hasn't budged. So I just wanted to get it, and then I know I'm safe. I don't advise you guys spending that much on your players, but I just wanted to make sure I had them all, because I want to complete this SBC. The silver goalkeeper, which we needed, and it's key to remember here, guys, I have built the best possible team I can. For all of these teams, almost every player is the highest rated in their position, so we haven't budgeted anything. We spent 1500 on that centre back, obviously, but the right back 700, centre back 900 and 750, and these are rare silvers, a rare silver for 400 coins. And this is another thing to remember: these prices, we're going to be picking them up cheap, but I could flip them for 100% profit right now. But obviously, we're going to hold him. Onto the right mid, 550, 400, oops, 550, 400, 650 for a rare gold, 350 there, 900 and 550. You can see how cheap these teams are to complete. The only thing that you're going to be putting into this is time. And yes, it is going to take you a handful of hours to complete. Just make sure you cover any kind of formation that they could use with the extra centre back and centre mid. And just look at the player prices again, 400 across the board basically on this club. On average, 400 coins for every single player for Bologna were guaranteed to make profit again. I'm just going to go through them because I can't remember which ones had the most silvers in, but you'll be able to see just how expensive they were and where the best possible investments are if you're just looking to pick up some players. So the sub bench, we've got centre forward for 750, 450, sorry, centre back for 600, 400. And again, just going through them all here. You can see that we're not spending over a thousand coins, not over 600 coins on most of those players again. I just want to find a couple more of those full silver teams. I think Crotone was basically full silver. This was basically for gold, full gold, and the prices are exactly as you'd expect. Nothing crazy there. So we don't need to go into every team in detail, obviously. But I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to do. I literally spent, like I said, a few hours doing this, and as soon as the SBC drops, we are ready to rock and roll. So this one here was the full silver team. 250, 400, 150 for that striker. 850, a fairly expensive left mid. But some of these I spent a bit more money on when they're the only one in that position. So I'd rather have a copy of it than take any kind of risks. But that was the only expensive player in the whole team. And the list goes on and on. And I am going to go on to every team because a few of you might want to just see the exact teams that I've built, the exact money I've spent on every single player. 
so you can see I just haven't gone crazy on anything. And in case you want to copy the teams that I've built as well, just with the best possible players. Now, this is something that I do plan on actually doing for every single league. So I want to do the big leagues first because they're the ones that are going to give us the best packed results, the best return for our money spent and the most hype raised around them. So whether we sell the players or keep the players and use them, that's going to be the biggest return. Then straight after that, I want to get on to doing some of the more likely to come out soon, like the Eredivisie ones and stuff like that. And just kind of go all the way through every single one here until we've got every league prepared. Now, it is a big coin sink. So this has cost me about 100,000 coins with probably another 30 to 40,000 left to put into it. When we come to getting a big Juventus team, a big AC Milan team and all of those kind of players. But when you've got all of these players sitting in your club and you're ready to complete every league SBC that drops, not only are you making profit off them, but you've also got the league SBC players themselves. And the league SBC players, you can either use them, obviously, or they can be used in SBCs. We remember last year, some of the later ones, I think the throwback ones, they actually required you to use SBC players. So having these in your club, especially for these bigger leagues where they're likely to be fairly high rated, it's just going to be a big plus around the board. Then we get to one like Roma, which is full gold, fairly high rated, and we're still spending basically discard. Who is he there? 1,500 on De Rossi, which I'm actually using in my squad, so I'm not too mad about. 2,700 for Dzeko, but he's an 84 rater, so he'll hold his value. And then the rest of them there. When we jump onto the concept squads here, so I've almost finished most of them. This guy here, this left mid, is the last one I need for Slambordia, but he is about 3,000 coins. Ooh. You know what? He was like, he was about 2,500 all day. So I'm happy to pick that guy up for 1,500 there. And that completes that one for me, which is pretty nice, actually. When doing this, you do start to remember which ones were the expensive ones. And when you see them on the market for a cheaper price, you know that it's a good deal. So you can see again here, 1,000 on that left back there. But apart from that, nothing over about 600. And this bronze left mid, I think he was about 1,500 earlier which it looks like he's going to be about the same. That one for, oh god, 950. I'm going to take him. See, I'm not saying that this is the, ah, uh, we'll get the 1,000 coin one if he's still there then. I'm not saying it's the best idea just to buy these guys like I am right now. You could bid on them. You saw how many had open bids of 150. If you've got the time and you can keep coming back to check on it, do it that way. You could do it for about 20,000 coins, probably cheaper than I have, if you just put a bit more patience in. Into my land, we haven't started yet. This was another one that was fairly expensive at the moment because we need the likes of Akadi, possibly Pelisic and Miranda just to get the rating up to where I want it to be. I kind of thought I'd come back to that one in a little bit. Torino, I think we need one more player for. It's just Belotti, who again is fairly expensive at the moment. So I'm just going to wait till he drops a little bit in price as well. Lazio, I thought we had completed. Okay, it's just a mobile layer that we need again. You can see that these bigger teams are just all gold, and they are all basically discard value as well. We're picking everyone up for the bare minimum. So we got an 83 rated Arena for 1100, 950, 850, 750, 1200 on Callahan, and 1000 on LBL. So a little bit over their discard value, but I'm happy. It's ready to go. Just considering whether or not we will need Insigne there, probably be a little bit overkill, but we'll wait and see. AC Milan was another one that's fairly expensive. So I've got the players that we had in our club in here and I've built the team ready to go. It's just a case of when I feel the prices are right, which will probably be sooner rather than later. I'll probably actually get around to doing that tomorrow or the day after because I just want this league done so we can move on to the next one. And this is the last team here. I just want to rename it Juventus so I can remember where they are. And we haven't got much for Juventus, just what was in the club at the moment. But as you can see, this is where it starts to pick up in price. Abinashia, Kadira, they only have Manjukic and then Dybala and Higuain for striker options. Diego Costa is going to be, uh, sorry, Douglas Costa is going to be fairly expensive here. Bernadeschi is fairly expensive. Howardes is the backup centre-back. Maybe we'll need Barzagli for the higher rating. Haven't had enough time to properly think through how I want to build it. I just know that 81 rating probably isn't going to be high enough. So guys, going to wrap up the video here. It was just a fairly short video again. But we've just gone through the whole of Serie A. We've completed every one. It's cost us about 100,000 coins with another 30 odd to spend. So 130,000 coins to guarantee the completion of a massive league or sell the players on hype. A perfect investment for the future. No risk involved in it whatsoever, especially if you take even more care than I did. And there is no reason we shouldn't be doing this in our downtime. 
with those extra coins that we just don't know where to spend, this is the perfect answer. We know it's going to happen. We're going to be prepared. We're going to be ready to go. Anyway, guys, if you are enjoying the investment videos, make sure you drop a like like you always do. Subscribe if you're new around here. Comment down below if you've done any leagues or if you have any questions or anything. My Twitter is in the comments, so make sure in the description even, so make sure you follow us there. And we've got a trading Discord up and running, so if you're not on that yet, come join us over there. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.